There's been quite an evolution of the places that women have occupied in our sport. I remember going to my first world championships where there were only two women in the entire room for the team managers meeting, which to me was a bit shocking. But now if you just look at Cycling Canada, when we work with our national team, we have women physiologists, we have physiotherapists, all the high performance admin staff are women, whether it's coordinator or team manager. So there's definitely been an evolution, I would say, from when I started until now. Women are having a moment, whether they're riders or whether they're staff or coaches. <laughs> I started cycling when I was 14 years old and I grew up in Calgary and I was part of a junior cycling team. We get Junior Worlds, Commonwealth Games, two Olympic Games, big medalist. Growing up in sport, it really was a male-dominated sport on the track, on the road, as well as staffing and coaches. And it's really hard. I nearly quit and actually Jenny True was the reason I didn't. And had I not had that mentorship, I would have left the sport. Yeah, we're extremely privileged to have Jenny as our coach. She takes our needs into account and having a female coach that can relate to us makes such a world of impact and um, she knows that we all have other ambitions outside of cycling, including school. We have other needs as opposed to the male cyclists, you know, so having her there and, and she understands that, so we're extremely privileged to have her. A lot of coaching and really being successful is having that connection with somebody and having them understand where you're coming from. 